Hi guys, so today we are going to be doing teaching number 108 is what I am currently on. So let's just get started. Uh, the first thing that I have was a Mary Hoyer doll. This one was wearing a really pretty iridescent dress. Um, I won a bunch of these Mary Hoyer dolls at an auction. I did sell quite a few, but honestly, I do still have a couple left that I need to list. This one sold for $215.02. So yeah, these ones were selling really well and they all had on their tagged Mary Hoyer clothing and shoes and things like that, which helped up to the price. Next, we have a Fitz and Floyd Turtle Chalkware Bank. I had this for a very long time. This did take a long time to sell. This was an older Fitz and Floyd piece uh, that did sell for $21.99, but like I said, it did take a while to sell. Next, I have a Vintage Caboodles Razor Case. So this was just like a plastic case that you would use when you're traveling to put your razor in. Um, this is older. Uh, vintage Caboodles, I know they re-came back out with Caboodles not that long ago, uh, but the vintage ones still sell and as does like the vintage Caboodles related items. Like they had other like travel type accessories like makeup pouches and stuff like that and some of those can sell. So when I saw this at a yard sale, I think I paid a quarter for it. Um, it was kind of a no-brainer and that sold for $19.99. I also sold, this was a Jeep hitch, um, a tow hook uh, Jeep hitch. This one was old. Eric won this at an auction. I can't remember exactly what he paid for it, but I know it wasn't a whole lot. Um, and that sold for $78. I also sold a grinning ghost box. So this was just a Halloween item. Um, really cute. It had a ghost on the top and then the lid actually came off so you could store stuff in it if you wanted to. Um, I think I actually kept one of these for myself. Um, I purchased those from a store um, of a lady who was kind of like going out of business type of thing. Anyway, that sold for $59.99 and I probably paid maybe less than $10 for it. I also sold an older Oshkosh uh, plush rattle doll. So it was like a little plush doll, like when you shook it, it made like a rattling noise. <laughs> it's not a cha-ching <laughs> without Amelia. <laughs> Hi there, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Okay, yes, yes, I know. I'll hold you for a little bit. How about that? <laughs> you want to say hi? She's like, no, I just want to be in your arms. Just want to be in your arms, mom. Okay, so that I picked up at a yard sale. I'd say I paid 25 cents for it and it sold for $12.99. I also sold, I'm getting like dog hair all over my, it's like sticking to my lip gloss. It's it's, it's pretty gross. <laughs> uh, the next two items did go to the same Amelia, I'm gonna have to sit you down. I can't do this. <laughs> the next two items did go to the same person, but I do not think it was a subscriber. These were two more of the Deborah Schoch items. So you've seen um, some of these in my other cha-chings. The first one was a candy corn witch that sold for $80. And the other one was a spider girl that sold for $39.99. These came from the same lady's store that I purchased from, again, less than $10 for them. I'm thinking I paid about six or under for them, in all honesty. Um, and, oh, what was I saying? I don't even know, you got me all confused, girl. Um, next item did go to a subscriber named Sandra. This was for an Indi Indiana Glass Blue Fairy Lamp that sold for $45.99. And that either came from an auction or a yard sale. I also sold another um, one of those Halloween boxes. This one was of a grinning jack-o'-lantern. That one also sold for, no, this one sold for $49.99. My other one, what did I say? Sold for $59.99. So $49.99 on that one. Same sale I got that at. 
Um, next item also went to a subscriber named Karen. This was for a pair of Crocs orange uh, platform style clogs. Those sold for $29.99 and I did get those at a yard sale. I wanted to keep those, but they were not my size. <laughs> they were really cute. Uh, next item was for a little lot of blown glass animals. Those sold for $19.99. I sold a TI-84 graphing calculator for $49.99. I'm pretty sure that came from a yard sale. Um, typically, these calculators can sell really well and very fast, especially if you're only picking them up for a couple bucks or at a yard sale for like 50 cents. Um, there is one... One um, user on eBay who buys a lot of the graphing calculators, so if you list them at just the right price, like as soon as you list them, they buy them. I don't know exactly what they do with them, but like that's literally what they do is they buy all of the graphing calculators. So if you ever sold one, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, next we have a Las Vegas, Nevada ornament. This was a glass ornament that sold for $9.99. This came out of a... Um, box lot of some stuff that I won at an auction. I also sold um, a cat and pumpkin Halloween ornaments for $26.50. Again, these came from the same sale of the same lady. I also sold another one of those Fisher Price Terry Cloth Rattle Toys. This one was of a dog. That sold for $49.99 and I got that at a flea market. Um, probably paid a dollar or so for it. I also sold a J. King turquoise and copper necklace that sold for four no that sold for a hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents and I did win that at an auction. Um, the next item was for a plate lot by Bing and Grondel. Uh, these actually sold for $39.99. I don't typically pick up like collector's plates and stuff like that, but these came with some stuff that I won at... Hi, baby girl. Mwah. Love you. Look at my cursors. Oh, cursors, cursors, cursors. Um, these actually came with some stuff that I won at an auction, and surprisingly, some were selling, so I just went ahead and listed them all, and they sold, so that was really awesome. It's one of those things where like, I mean, I don't think I would have thrown them away, but it was one of those things where I was like inwardly groaning when I won them with like the other thing that I wanted. So, but yeah, that's nice that they sold. Um, next we have a pack of Cami Secret. These were modesty panels. They're basically just like these things you stick. Um, I think they attach to your bra. So like if you're wearing a low cut shirt, um, your cleavage doesn't show. Um, that sold for $7.99, and I think my mom gave those to me in all honesty at one point, but I just never used them. I don't really wear shirts that show my cleavage anyway, so um, that's that. I just don't. I don't like doing that. Um, next, we have a Jeanette Glass um, glasses set. This sold for $39.99. I also sold a Winnie the Pooh birthday teapot for $49.99, and I'm pretty sure that one came from an auction. Next was a Dimensions I Love Country Cross Stitch that sold for $15.99, and that probably came from a yard sale. Next was a, this was by someone named Sandra Paylett. It was actually a porcelain necklace. It had an elephant on it. And I believe she like hand painted it type of thing. Um, that sold for $26.99 and that came on a tray of some jewelry that I won at an auction. I also sold an older green smiley face emoji um, style glass for $12.99 and um, this might have had sour cream in it at one point. I know some of these older glasses were like sour cream glasses. Like when I guess sour cream came in like glasses. I don't know. I don't remember this. This must have been maybe before my time. Um, but then again, I'm thinking of like my childhood growing up. And I don't really remember my mom using sour cream very much. So <laughs> who knows? Um, 
Next we have our Kraft cream cheese storage container that sold for $14.99. That came from a church sale and I still have one more left, <laughs> I believe. No, I might be thinking of something else. I don't know, but I know I have some sort of storage organizer, uh, refrigerator type thing downstairs still. Um, anyway, where am I? <laughs> I sold a vintage from 1991 Guess Who game. I actually had this game growing up. Um, and it was brand new, still sealed. I won that at an auction and it sold for $64.99 and I probably paid 10 or less for it. I also sold a Boyd's Bear. This was for a really large 23 inch Peeker Starla Bear. Um, that sold for $29.99 and I did get that at a yard sale and I'd say I paid about $2 for it. I also sold a set of three Sandyline Halloween sticker sheets. Those sold for $12.99 and those came from a flea market. I had purchased like um, a couple different sheets of stickers and I just like looked through and grabbed the ones that interested me when I asked the lady how much she wanted for stickers. She just said all of them for a quarter. So um, I did sell quite a few of those. I sold a 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea book. This one was one of the Franklin Library books. Um, that one sold for $69.99. I also sold a Pink Depression glass cake stand. That sold for $45.99. That one I'm pretty sure came from an estate sale. Um, I also sold a Monster High doll of Rebecca Steam. She sold for $29.99 and she probably came from the tote of Monster High dolls. I won, or not won, I bought at a yard sale. I won some Monster High dolls at an auction as well. So maybe the auction, maybe from the tote at the yard sale, but regardless, that's the second time I sold a Rebecca Steam doll. <laughs> um, next we have a really old, this was an early um, American press glass um, bird and strawberry creamer. This sold for $99.99 that did come from an auction and I had won a couple pieces of these EAPG glasses with the birds and strawberries and they all sold and they all sold for a hundred dollars a piece didn't they babe? Actually one or two might have sold a little more than that. I can't remember now, but if you watch all of my cha-chings, one of you might remember. Um, I sold a Hello Kitty um, diary. This was actually a bootleg. This wasn't official Sanrio. Uh, that sold for $12.99. People still buy like non-official items. Um, and that did come from, I think that came from the thrift store a really long time ago. I don't know if I just, it took a while for me to list or if it just, I was sitting on it for a while. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, next item was for a brooch pin of an enamel Scotty dog that sold for $7.99. And that probably came from a jewelry tray I won at an auction. Next item went to a subscriber named Joan. This one was for a pure face. This one was for a Pure Face Skin Cream that sold for $16.99 and that came off of a tray I won at an auction. I also sold a perfume by Issey Miyake. It was called Wood Flower. I did take a best offer of that for $129.99. Um, please keep in mind that this is an older Cha Ching and if you haven't heard about the whole perfume spinangle thing of used perfumes. Um, I don't know what spinangle means. I think I just made that word up, but <laughs> I talked about it at the end of my last cha-ching. Um, so please keep that in mind if you see any used perfumes that I'm selling for a little while since I'm behind. Um, next item was for a Monet Haunted House Trinket Box. That one was also a best offer accepted at $110. Um, Eric and I had won a bunch of Monet Trinket Boxes at an auction and that's where that came from. <laughs> She's just trying to get comfy. 
you can lay down. Yes, lay down, baby girl. Um, we have a vintage Cadoodles pencil set. This was brand new, just an old pack of pencils. That's sold for $5.99, and that might have even come out of a free box at a yard sale. I have no idea. Um, this next item did come out of a free box at a yard sale. This was for a Digimon coloring book that sold for $9.99. I sold a hard plastic Santa riding a reindeer that sold for $59.99. I'd say that probably did come from an auction. Uh, the next two items went to a subscriber named Denise. She purchased a hanging Grim Reaper Halloween ornament that sold for $12.99. Do you need something, Eric? You don't remember that? It came on a tray that we won at an auction. Um, it had a little uh, Jemmy singing and dancing maggot Halloween piece on that we also sold. Um, and then she also purchased a glass rabbit on a nest that sold for $19.99. And I feel like that did come from an auction as well. Um, next item we have, this one was an old vintage house smock from like the 1960s we won this at an auction they had a couple different pieces of vintage clothing that sold for $29.99 I also sold a Chico's wristlet purse for $8.99 that came from a yard sale um a long long time ago uh this took forever to sell and I feel like part of that problem was the fact that it was still wrapped it was still sealed and I didn't want to open it so it was kind of hard to take a good picture of it so that might have been part of the problem why it took so long to sell also sold another Franklin library book this one was called the five comedies that sold for $29.99 you know daddy's up here now huh you went down uh, I sold an Xbox 360 game called Spider-Man Web of Shadows that sold for $53.99, so that one was definitely a good video game, apparently. <laughs> um, that did come from an auction. Um, we sold another Franklin Library book. This one was called The Age of Innocence, and it sold for $35.99. Uh, this next item came from a yard sale. It was for a vintage Lisa Frank Zodiac pillow. Like, when I purchased this and I looked it up before I listed it, I couldn't find anything to go by, which made me think it was, like, really rare. I know I had never seen them before, um, but it did sell for $59.99, and I paid less than a dollar for it. We sold a V-Dubs Beetle Diecast Car for $69.99. That came from an auction. Um, Eric had won quite a few V-Dub <laughs> Diecast Cars at the auction one day. I'm not sure if we have any left or if we have many left. I'm unsure. Uh, next was a Harvest Moon Halloween decoration that sold for $29.99. That came from the same lady sale where we had purchased all of the other Halloween related stuff. Um, next item was a Yardley of London aftershave splash and deodorant. I picked this up at an estate sale. I probably paid about a dollar a piece for each piece and I sold them as the lot for $19.99. And the last thing that I have for this cha-ching is another Halloween ornament by Catherine Lily White. This one was of a black cat that sold for $9.99, came from that same lady's Halloween sale, and we paid a dollar for it. So that is everything for this cha-ching. I'm trying to think if there's anything lately that I wanted or needed to talk about as far as eBay is concerned. And I can't really think of anything that's been... Um, happening lately oh the GSP has changed um that is a kind of a recent thing for me um now like before if you were shipping internationally using the GSP program uh, before um, my packages would go to a warehouse in Kentucky before they were shipped off overseas and now it's changed it goes to Illinois now um so nothing really changed changed um, but it's a little bit different, like when you're listing, um, you no longer 
it just doesn't look the same as it once did when you're under like the international shipping. So those of you who use GSP probably already know. Um, if you don't use GSP, I definitely suggest trying it out. Um, you, I feel like are going to be definitely getting more potential buyers to see your items. Um, it's really simple. You just ship your item to a warehouse um, now in Illinois. So, and you don't do anything. You don't have to fill out customs forms or worry about anything, basically. eBay does all of the work. And then um, if there is a problem with your order, like if something arrives broken or something along those lines, eBay will have your back for it. Um, you won't lose your money. Um, there are times though where people um, do want to do returns and then you are in charge of any returns coming from um, overseas, which um, most people who buy from overseas do not want to deal with <laughs> a return. Um, so for the most part, they typically don't bother. Like if they're unhappy with something, um, they just you know keep the item regardless because the the return shipping is you know can be kind of outrageous but because they're already paying um you know a large shipping fee to get shipped to them plus you know ebay's fees to use you know the gsp service and that type of thing um but yeah i definitely would recommend it um very rarely do i ever have problems um using it um so yeah, definitely just think about it if you, you know, don't already implement it. Uh, but other than that, I don't really feel like there is much that I wanted to to talk about as far as eBay goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cha-ching. You have to let me know what you thought down in the comments. And I will see you next time.